Pencils down. What? Pencils down. Okay, because you said it. you said before you started that you said you know what, like you're gonna say something right else. I tricked you all, and then you went pencils down. I tricked everyone. So I was on my phone. I wasn't paying attention. I tricked you all, man. Wow. That's how it goes. You'd be a terrible all right? teacher. That's how life is. Awful. That's how life. Awful. Is. Hey, so uh, guess what? What? We have a winner. Hit that two. Hit Andy? that two. Two hit that two names. Two. I, I drew out of the name in the hat. Uh huh. I drew. First of all, let's see everyone who got it correct. Ray yeah. Tolius, shocker. Of course, yeah. Shocker, Ray. Uh, should we? I, like, I know he doesn't want it, but right. should we name it the Ray Tolius Award? No, he doesn't like that. We can't. How do about it. the RT Award? We, RT maybe. <laughs> it's either that, or we launch a full fill, full scale investigation. I guess into, we have to go RT into though. what he's doing because <laughs> he's either a genius. Or he's cheating. I say, I'm going to go genius. That's what I'll, I want. I'll, that's what I want to believe. You want to believe. I know. That's what I want to believe. You want to believe it. Oh, shit. I got to get the music. Hold on. Oh, fuck, dude. We're good. Are we good? Yeah. Karen. You got to get the mandolin? No, we're good. What music? Oh, the music music. Yeah. Off the hard drive. Yeah. Oh, because you can't sing your song without it. Oof, you man. can't sing your song. Why don't you learn it on the mandolin? I should. The ramble theme? Learn the ramble theme oh, on your mandolin, God. and then you can play the mandolin and sing. That is a great Great idea. I could bring the harmonica. There we go. We can make this it is a, a good thing. idea. Cody can play guitar. Cody can play guitar. Cody, are you there? Yeah. We got Cody. We got Cody. Look at that. Uh, so up? the correct one was Ray Tolius. It was the Gerudo Valley theme Shocking. from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Wow. So Ray got it right. Job, Manny Ray. Avalar got it right. Such a beautiful rendition of Gerudo Valley from Ocarina of Time. Jerry gets so all Manny, the So Manny's a, a multiple time winner. Oh, yeah. Man, but he didn't win. I'm just, I'm just naming the ones who got it right. Uh, and then oh, when okay, I pull the names oh, out of the hat, gotcha. two names came out. I accidentally grabbed two. So fuck it. Wow, sticky fingers. I know. What are you doing? Uh, to? You should wash your hands. I man. know. Well. Especially now. Manny Avalar says Jerry gets all the Gerudo puss with his mandolin playing. Thank you, buddy. He does. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> I've seen it firsthand. Ron Huddleston, Jerry, one of my all time uh one of my all time favorite pieces of game music, Gerudo Valley, Ocarina of Time, motherfucking Zelda from Ron Huddleston. Thank you, Ron. Nice. You got it correct. And your two winners. Yes. Joe Capone. JC. Now that is definitely the Gerudo Valley theme from Ocarina of Time. He thought one of my previous Zelda ones was that one. And he got it wrong, and now he got it right. Redemption. I think okay. that's why he magically had his name right. go with the other winner, and that's first time. First timer. Aaron Burton. Aaron. Aaron Burton here from Denton, Texas. That tune is a Gerudo Valley theme from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Played surprisingly well, I might add. Ramble on, boys. Thank you, welcome Aaron. Welcome to the winner's circle. Hit that tune, Annie, right? Welcome to the Ramble. What a way to welcome yourself wow. to the Ramble. Really? Winning. Winning was he a new rambler? I don't know. He, I, I've never. I don't think we've gotten an email from him before. Hmm. So that's pretty dope. That's dope. Yeah, and uh, here we are, another ramble right here. This is it. I don't. I haven't learned anything else yet. So hit that tune, and he's gonna take a break. <laughs> but well, you put a lot of work in the last one. I did. That was almost you. a month worth of work. It was a month. Yeah. Joe and Aaron, please email us again with all your information. Yes, email your address, and we're gonna send you something cool to ramble at the ramble. Yes, that ramble at the ramble pod dot com, and we will get those out to you within the year. Within the calendar year. Within the calendar year. You, you will get something. You're going to get day. something. You know what? I'm going crazy what? today. You know what I'm going to do? What? I might start the show now. Oh, like, really? Only three minutes, three minutes. and 30 you something Why seconds. Not? Why, not, Why not? Right? Make it, make it Why mix it? Why not mix Fuck it around up? with people. What, let, Fuck you, around with them. Yes. It's like working out. You have to trick your body. <laughs> and to do right, I yeah, think we're pla we've plateaued. Yes, and now we need to do something different. There it is. There it is. So weird hearing this so early. So not usually it's eleven minutes. We hear this. Sometimes we've gone almost twenty hours. Yeah, we've gone almost the whole show. <laughs> All right. So if you know the words, sing them on. All right. Well, my temperature's rising and my feet on the floor. Crazy people knocking because I want some more. Let me in, baby. I don't know what you got, but you better take it easy. This place is hot and I'm so glad we made it. So glad we made it. I want to give me some love. Give me, give me some love. Give me some love. Give me, give me some love. Every day. Bum, 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 bum. Dude. Nice. I want to learn to play the nice. organ just to play that fucking intro. That <laughs> Will Andrea let you get an organ and keep it in here? I don't Honey? She had the door shut. If you can come out here for a moment, Eddie and I have a question, but at your leisure. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah, especially how you pronounce leisure. Leisure. <laughs> that, at work. your leisure. At your leisure. So I don't know if you heard, but I just sang... Oh wow! 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 It didn't no no good job. She's hun. dressed like she's ready to do like improv in a black box theater. 
<laughs> she a thousand can I, percent. Can I get a suggestion? And her improv of an is, occupation. Her please. improv is miming. That was even weirder. <laughs> she studied improv She's from in a, a glass mime. case of emotion. Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. So. <laughs> So she's miming right now. <laughs> not improv. It's not improv. But that's but you okay. Know what? Oh, okay, wow. She's crawling out of she's a step box. out of a box that has walls. Um, okay, so, now she's uh, going back in. <laughs> is, I wish you could see this. This should be on Ramble Radio. I know. Not, oh, not, oh, oh, she, she locked herself know. into the box. This is brilliant. I've never seen anything this good. <laughs> hey, she's a Honey, so you heard me sing Give Me Some Lovin' by the Spencer Davis Group. Uh-huh. Yes. Eddie thinks we should get an, an should organ. An organ. Like a an big organ. old Hammond organ like so I can learn to organ. play that. And all you got to do is ask your neighbors upstairs if you can drill holes into the ceiling to, so the to organ. have the pipes can go. <laughs> a pipe organ. How the pipes we go. Get a, a church <laughs> pipe organ. <laughs> Imagine. If you explain to them it's a family heirloom. <laughs> Imagine the ball. Your great-grandmother. Like, look, I'm moving into a one-bedroom apartment, but I need room for my pipe organ. The pipe <laughs> used to be in a church. They're about 40 feet high. Do you mind if we just... Uh, I'll only play it on Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> we, you can make an agreement. You can play it while they're having their bowling tournament. I'm they do bowl a lot. Oh, it they bowl. Like they they bowl have a bowling alley yeah, in their they apartment. Do something That's nice. up there. Cody, would you want to learn how to play the Hammond B3 organ? I think that'd be one of the cooler instruments to learn how to play. Oh, for sure. Yeah. God damn. I, honey, I might get an electric piano. Well, I know, but I still like that one. That, that, that wasn't a no. That wasn't a no. That wasn't a no. That all she said was they're expensive. Yes, that's not a no. And I'll play shit. That's I'll not play. A no. You know, give me some love. And give me, give me. You want? You want to be depressed? What? Do you know how old Steve Winwood was when he wrote and performed that song as part of the oh, special? Was he in his twenties? Seventeen. Seventeen. I think around seventeen, eighteen Jesus. tops. He was sixteen when he fifteen or sixteen when he joined the band. Yeah. And then 17, when he wrote that hit song, and then their other big hit song, I'm a man, yes, I am, but I can't help. It's like, what is their last? I mean, come on. Do you think they were pissed at him when he did all that at that age? They had to have been. Like, oh, fuck this, like, this fucking guy? This fucking guy. Are you serious? We bring him in, and he writes our hit songs? And you know what? I'm going to say something about Steve Winwood. We're going to go deep on Steve Winwood okay. right now. Let's Cody, can you go deep on Steve Winwood, do you think? No. Would you go deep in Steve Winwood? Oh. Do you know no. who I'm talking about when I say Steve Winwood? I do know who you're talking about. Okay, yes. So then he goes to form fucking traffic after mm. that. Do yeah. you miss the fantasy? I mean, come yeah. on. And then I'm going to say something. Right. 80s didn't fuck him up. His 80s hits could have it today. <laughs> Valerie. Come on. Yeah. The, when you see a chance, you take yeah. it. Yeah. Get me back in the high life again. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah, right? You're right, dude. You're fucking right. The 80s didn't fuck that guy up no. at all. Let me find it. Bring me a higher love. No. That guy no. didn't lose his shit in the 80s no. like so many of his peers did. Right? No, they, they couldn't make that transition from the 70s to the 80s. No. They couldn't he do it. fucking like a champion. He's like, oh, I like this better. Fuck. Val Roll with it, baby. Come on. Huh? Uh, the finer things. So many fucking. I'm telling you. You're right. He survived the 80s. He did. they, they didn't fuck him up. They didn't. Steve Winwood, all the way. I got to give it to him. All the way, that guy. He, you know who else? Um, if you don't know me, me by now. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Oh, and that, that fucking it. voice of Teddy Pendergrass. All the things oh. that fucking, that we've been through. That's mm -hmm. the most soulful. I think he was also 16 or 17. Jesus. No, no, maybe 20 at the oldest. Does that 20. depress you as an artist? Yes. As a, as a performer? How does it not? Like the people that, that are that talented. Like Eddie Murphy as a comedian was. That's the only one that got to us, right? Like he was the only. He's, I think he was the only comedian who was brilliant as a teenager. At that age. Yeah. As a teenager in his early 20s was already just like, fuck, pack it up, guys. I couldn't imagine God being that damn, good. Being that, that young. Good, that young at comedy. Which you really need age to be better at. Most, most experience. Yes. But he just fucking right out of the to bat. To be that young and that good. Unreal. Unreal. No, yeah, he's just fuck unbelievable, man. It's because, and it's a, and, and, and not that he wasn't good before, but I think, you know, that was like, we talked about in the Rambo, right? Like this, eight, 846, that's, that's brilliant for that oh, Chappelle. Chappelle. It's just, and, he, and he's what, 50 something, I think? No, but he, yeah. he hit, he hit, he hit young pretty too. young too, but he's gotten better. 
as he's gotten older as yes. a comedian. You know what I mean? Like, I think most comics get better as they get older. A lot of them will hit young, and they either fuck it up, and they're gone, or they get better and better and well, better. Well, Chappelle also self-exiled himself for yeah. a little bit, too. He just walked away. He walked and away, was, and then came back. And that's enough, That's pretty impressive as well. Right. To, like, be like, fuck this, I'm done. And then, like, um, like who... Right. Has anyone... I mean, I know it's different, but, like... I don't know. Has has an actor walked away and then come back and just fucking been even better? I don't know. I don't know if a director has. I mean, there's some actors that were big and then they sort of yeah. weren't big anymore and then they came back. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, you could say, like, I mean, I don't know if Travolta is a good thing, but, like, he was huge in the 80s. Then nothing, then until, nothing until Pulp Fiction. Nothing until Pulp Fiction. And yeah. then he started doing other shit movies Then again. he ruined it. <laughs> he ruined it again. What was worse, Michael or Broken Arrow? <laughs> Michael, I had to be right. It's Broken Arrow. At least you. It's at least a popcorn Please, movie. Yeah, right. Yeah. How dumb was Face Off? If you really, I know. But again, I mean, really. okay. Face Off or Michael? Face Off. <laughs> really? <laughs> I go Face Off. Face Off's terrible, but you can at least. I'd like, rather this watch is so Face absurd. Off. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather watch Face Off. Oh yeah, than That's what I'm Michael. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would rather watch. Michael Face was off. trying to be something, and it was just like, this is fucking stupid. This is stupid. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dog gets hit by a car, and he makes the dog come back to life. That's right. That's right. Man. Just... Valerie. I mean, Steve Winwood. I'm telling you, surviving the 80s, survived the 80s. Did, Star, did Jefferson Airplane, do you think they survived? Because I'm one of the people who think Starship did fine in the 80s. I, was, uh, I have, no, I have with, no complaints with Starship. You know, people say that many British mu- music magazines will... Proudly say that the worst song of the '80s is "We Built This City." <laughs> How on do you rock say that? I could. You could make an argument. That's the greatest yeah, song. I of the could. 80s. <laughs> boom, they boom, built boom. the city on rock and boom, roll. Boom, boom. We built this city. Boom, boom, boom. We built, we this, built song. this city on rock and roll. Marconi plays the mamba. Listen to the radio. <laughs> That's the theme of some people's childhood. Yes, Cody. Do you like that song? Mm. That's a weird <laughs> question. This city. On rock and roll. I think it's fine, but it's a terrible song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what makes the 80s great. Yes. There were so many terrible songs that you could just jam out to. Okay, do you know what terrible song of Starships that I love from the 80s? What? I'm, this is bad. You might quit. Both of you might leave the ramble right now. <laughs> I think it's maybe one of the best songs of the 80s. Okay, well, and we can build this, this thing together, together standing strong, strong forever. Let them say you went crazy. <laughs> Come Why on. is that awful? I don't know, but people hate it. People Why? Love it. I don't know. That's a great song. Cody, great song or not? <laughs> Again, that's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> Let them say you went crazy. I don't care about that. <laughs> it's so I stupid. love that song. I love man. that fucking song. Give me that shit Don't all day. ever look back. <laughs> I think Maybe it's a good we... song. What's I'll the other? What's, a, what's the... Uh, fuck, what is that song? Starship or just... I think it's Starship. Because I think the big 80s were those two. Because remember, then talk about, talk about a band that went from a moth to a... They started title-wise. Right. And, and I guess... I, did they do a reverse... Like did they turn into a, a beautiful caterpillar in the '60s, and then some shitty, some shitty, uh, like uh, like no, they were the beautiful butterfly in the '60s that turned into some shitty caterpillar in the '80s? I don't know because Cody, do you know much about the Jefferson Starship Jefferson Airplane trajectory? I don't know about it. I know that it exists. I just don't know much about it. All right. So do you know much Jefferson Airplane? A little bit. Okay, of course, that's all the good shit, right? The one yeah. pill makes you larger. You know, the, with the fucking, when the truth is found to be like, great shit. Yeah, that's a great song. Great fucking yeah. shit. Then in the 80s, or the 70s, they changed their name to Jefferson Starship. And they have like, Jane, you say it's all over for you and me, girl. And fucking miracles count on what, you know, that's a great right. one. If only you believe, right? Then in the 80s, they dropped the Jefferson. They're just Starship. Starship. And they built this city on rock and roll. It's a fucking great song, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about it. I mean, like, funny. If, oh, you know what their other one was? Oh, shit. You know what their other one was? What? Sarah. Sarah. There it is. We're together. Their other hit was Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Sarah. Cody. 
No time is a good time. You know that one, right, Cody? <laughs> yeah, I know that. That's one. a fucking jam too. We're all fucking jams, oh, dude. My, that, I never thought I'd find another girl like mm, you. Mm, That's some mm. jams right there. Why do people got to hate on him? I don't know why they hate on him. But still, Steve Winwood, great 80s run. Yeah. Back in the high life again. He was like 30. That's a sad part. He was like 15. He was probably like 40 when he did that. Jesus. Fucking unreal. Man, here we are. We're, by the way, uh, this is Ramble 237, Eddie. That's impressive. Do you know how many people had us dead and buried? At Like Ramble, what? I think, I remember well, people just, were stunned just... when we got to 12. Remember that? Yeah, that was the talk of the... Uh... The podcasting world. Right. How are these guys at How 12? Still this doing thing's going to be over any second Yeah, now. I can't believe it's gone this Now long. look at us. And now, now we're, we're 10 us. episodes past what would have been Ten. the Marla Gibbs episode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Um, we're still deadlocked. Captain Howdy 1313 at the uh, Great American Podcast. Take the time. Give this podcast a listen. Jerry Eddie, funny as hell, right? Thanks. Thank you, Captain Howdy thirteen thirteen. But guess what? One hundred and ten five star ratings. Fuck yeah, dude! One hundred and ten. Yeah. We are climbing. Thank you to those who have done it. We were at one hundred and eight last time. Now we're at one hundred and ten. Two in a week. Boom. Email us That's ramble at the ramblepod dot com. Fuck progress. yeah. Progress. Twitter at podcast ramble one. Instagram podcast ramble. We have merch on our T Public plays page, which Please I got go two dollars this month. Oh shit! We from T Public dollar bills. We made two dollars. I owe we, you a dollar, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Hey. Well, if we're going to split well, three what the ways. Fuck? What about me? We yeah, split Co? Three ways. What about Co? Hold on. Let me do the math on a three way split. $2. 33 cents. Oh, 66 cents. 66 cents. Yeah, 66, 66 cents each we get. <laughs> we're going to make money off that one day. It's going to happen. Are we? It's going to happen. Baby, we can make it. You know why? Because we can make it if we're heart to heart. You know, we build this thing together. We built this city. city. But a bum, we built this city on a rock and roll. Why do you think they got so lame? Who? Like, well, you I know what I mean. I think they got lame. You're right. They didn't. <laughs> Cody, why do you think that happened? Why do you think other people think they got lame? Yes. Because, That's because the Because the decades change, and they probably tried, tried to change with them. Yeah, with like the time. I mean, if you saw their outfits in the '80s, it's pretty bad. <laughs> they all look like look. Come on, the '80s. They're look- like 40, and they're all dressed like they're teenagers in a sitcom in the '80s. That's one of the problems, I think. Uh, all right. You know, I'm just saying. I, okay. I'm just saying. I, you know, but like even the monkeys, like D- Davy Jones had a mullet in '87 when they had their reunion. <laughs> Davy Jones is rocking the mullet. Yeah, but mullets were a thing. I had a mullet. But yeah, but you were of age. You were at the proper yeah, age to have a mullet. To look at Patrick Swayze in the 80s. But Davy Jones is 30 years older. That's my point. He's still trying to fit in. He's running in those circles, man. I don't He's know. not out of the game. He's like, in the game. You don't think it would be weird if tomorrow Bono just had like some Justin Bieber haircut or was trying to look Bono's like... Bono's got a mullet now. Or Bono, or Bono had that uh, fucking... Just, uh, just look like a moron. Like I think they all look like now. I don't know. What's worse? Having the mullet or the, 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 the lines shaved in your head trying to fit in? Cody, what's worse? A mullet. Mullet. Then lines right. shaved. Like a, then like it. a lightning bolt shaved. Yeah, I got to go mullet. Really? The mullet go is mullet. timelessly bad. Time, yeah. But lines shaved into your head. That's terrible. Like a 45-year-old man. Yeah. Okay. For, two 45-year-old men walk into a room. Like our age. Two, yes. two people our age. Man. Walk, men. Manly men walk man. into a club yep. where it's just mostly 20-something. One guy's got a mullet. Other guy has a flat top with a lightning bolt shaved in the side. Mullet gets more action because of the novelty. I'm telling Who's you. Who's made more fun of? Lightning guy. Lightning mullet, guy. Mu- Thank you. No, yes, because mullet is more like, whoa, wow, we got to go play with this. Right. right? We got to go see this. Bolt in the side guy is like, oh, like what is, is that guy thinking? What's this guy doing? But Cody's right, though. It's time. The lightning bolt look, no one's going to give a shit about. Mullets will always be made fun of. Always. They weren't made fun of in the that in They the had height. one run. <laughs> they had one <laughs> little run. They but the lightning one. bolt line in the side of the head or yeah, the that, two lines? No one's going to care. No one's mullets gonna care, are still, really? yeah, mullets are still, watch. I don't know. I'm telling you, I man, don't know. It's you can happen. shave that right off. The mullet, the mullet you, got, you like, have to put some work well, into remember, remember that. Remember, Brian Bosworth combined both. He did. <laughs> and that's why he's a legend. That's a title. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Bosworth combined both. And now who's not going to want to listen? Right? <laughs> he had the lines in the side of the head and then the party in the back. <laughs> yes. And he got destroyed. With the flat top up top. Is Bo, is that the biggest? He combined three bad haircuts he into really, one. In one. What other man has done that? And then look how that ended for him. 
Bo Jackson knocking the living shit out of him. He had a Did he have a chance? He had a mullet, a flat top, and lines. Do you believe his statement that him and Bo would have had a great rivalry had he stayed? No. Had, no. Bo destroyed him. It was he, over. Cody, have you seen that clip? I don't think so. If you want to see it, dude, get lit the fuck Just up. Just Google and you go to YouTube and search Bo Jackson destroys Bosworth. Bo Jackson breaks one. He's headed for the end zone. Brian Bosworth is all that stands between them. And this is the be- at the hype of the Boz. Yes. And it was like, oh, he was a Seattle Seahawk, and he charges at Bo Jackson, and goddamn. Just it. obliterates him. It does not end well for Brian Bosworth. Like, if, if Bosworth was... <laughs> Was Ultra Magnus? <laughs> oh fuck! He's opening the matrix. <laughs> He's opening. Open the matrix of it. Open. He's panicked. <laughs> it's our darkest hour. <laughs> and Bo Jackson just yeah, blows Bo- him apart. I mean, like, I that had to be where the Russos got the idea for the snap because there was just ash. <laughs> like that was all that was left. Uh, yeah, it, was just, <laughs> it was like it was just ashes <laughs> of of Oakley sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> It was just a Thanos snap of Ash, and that was all that was left of Bo, of of, uh, of Bo, the Boz after Bo Jackson. All I remember from the Boz era is him pitching a fit because he couldn't wear forty four. Yep, because that was his college number. Yep, and the NFL's like, well, linebackers have to wear numbers fifty, 50 or higher. Fifty or higher. Yeah, you can't wear forty four. And so he made a big stink about that. And then I remember one game, his jersey got ripped. Yeah. So they had to replace his jersey. And then they spent the entire like next five minutes going, "Is he going to put on forty four? Is he going to put on forty four? Like." Okay. That's that's that all you. It. If that's all you're talking about with a player, then it's over. It's fucking over. You know, all, all I really remember from the Boz is that Sports Illustrated where he was carrying Jim McMahon on his shoulders. Yes, that's that's all I remember really. And the Bojack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, god damn. Have you seen it yet, Cody? Uh, I'm looking for it right now. That is the ultimate. <laughs> I mean, what's worse, that? Or Pippen dunking on Ewing, <laughs> Ewing just putting his dick in his face, standing over him. Ewing still had a career. Yeah, yes, Ewing went to the finals after that. Ewing still had a career. And the Knicks won that series, yes. too. Ewing still had a long, <laughs> semi-illustrious career. Bo Jackson. He was an Exorcist three. <laughs> Bo Jackson killed Brian Bo Bosworth. Bo Jackson killed Brian Bosworth. Part of Brian Bosworth died that day on the field. Yeah. <laughs> How come no one's ever done Jim Ross calling that? And I mean, God oh, damn, God, he's broken he in half. half. He got? He's got a family. He's got. Oh fuck! They should totally put that on there. They have to. By God, he broke him in half. Cody, have you seen it yet? I can't seem to find the clip what? isolated. Mm. Hold on, let me let me get this. Hold. Oh, on. here we go. Okay, it's, okay hold on. One Cody, I want you to live talk us through. Live this. talk us through it. Then I want you your honest reaction. You're gonna so w- I see a snap. Okay. Oh, it's slow motion. Okay. Bo Jackson's running. Yes. <laughs> it's the last moments of Brian Bosworth's career. You're watching. Oh man. <laughs> man, maybe that wasn't it. That didn't look that bad to me. Maybe it's not it. <laughs> was it Bosworth though? It was. Yeah. Let me see. He blew but, like, him. It's, it, are we, are we remembering it worse than it I really think you was? might be misremembering how bad it is. I remember him exploding <laughs> and his helmet flying into the upper deck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I remember. Like, it, ju- it just looks like he overpowers him. It doesn't look like. Oh, he, he has nothing. He gives him shit. He fucked. Let me see. It was Bo Jackson runs over Brian Bosworth, right? There it is. Yeah. There it is. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. The fuck out of here. <laughs> he blew that up. <laughs> yeah, it isn't as bad as I remember. That, that is not that violent. <laughs> <laughs> but he still blows him up. <laughs> that happens every Sunday in the That's NFL. True. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it destroyed him, though. Here's the thing, though. Don't ruin it. Here's the thing. That no one took Boz seriously after that. Remember? That was, he was rid of, because he was supposed to be the Bo Jackson of linebackers. He was supposed to be the Bo Jackson stopper. Yes. He was supposed to be the next uh, Lawrence Taylor. Yes. They were, this guy is going to be it. Yes. And he's just another dude out there yeah. getting fucking, oh, man. Maybe it wasn't as maybe bad. Maybe I'm thinking of the Sean Taylor blowing up the punter in the Pro Bowl. <laughs> maybe, that's the, maybe that's the video I'm thinking of. The greatest Redskin moment of all time? Uh, top four. Is that top I four? I mean, they won three Super Bowls, but I think that comes right in fourth place. I mean, he fucked that guy up. <laughs> <laughs> A Pro Bowl punter. 
<laughs> you know the guy. Hey, let's give Teddy a first down. <laughs> like that's all that was. His family's but, here. But he wasn't <laughs> even close to making a first. No, down. no. He had the <laughs> sideline right there. It wasn't going to go. He anywhere. wasn't going to get anything. Sean Taylor literally could have just pushed him, like just touched him, and he would have gone but out of bounds. But instead, he blows and blows him. <laughs> I actually have because of that play when it happened. I yeah. bought a. I went on eBay and bought a Sean Taylor <laughs> Pro Bowl jersey. And I have a Pro Bowl jersey from Sean Taylor from that game. Not the game worn, but a replica. Cody, that. have you seen that play? Oh, yeah. I watched it live. I remember that. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> God, I miss Sean Taylor. That poor motherfucker. I miss Sean Taylor. Oh, shit. Now, let's sing. Let's sing. Do Shall it. we sing? Do it. I mean, what's wrong with singing? That, that, 90% of the people listening want to hear it. That's all they care about. Right? And this is exciting. This is... The oh, what hat would they wear? The last before Cody, the yeah. Cody takeover for the list starts. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's taking over next week. Yeah. So this is what hat would Bob Dylan wear into the I Wrote a Song Hall of Fame? Cody, Ramble 238, what's the Hall of Fame hat category going to be? Well, I don't know if this has been done before, so if it's been done, I'll nix it. But I'm thinking... Professional sports logos go into the logo hall of fame, and literally, what hat goes into the hat? Oh, that's great. Do you like this, Eddie? Yeah. What? I'm in. I'm okay. in. Oh, that's So, great. this goes all professional sports. All what sports. Logo. Damn. Chief Wahoo, right? Chief Wahoo. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that goes Instant. There, right? Instant. Instant. That's Instant. No hall question. Hall of fame. First but, ballot. Oh, by God. Unanimous. With a. <laughs> ah, Damien Botriel. Damien here. Hey, Ramblers. Damien here. Celebrating a year since submitting my first email to you guys. What a ride it's oh, been. Thanks, Damien. Thank you, buddy. I stand before Jerry, Eddie, Cody, the crowd, waiting for me to make a, my move on Eddie after weeks of disrespecting the Ramblers. <laughs> Only to super kick Jerry instead. Whoa, heel I turn. I pull apart my shirt to reveal an Eddie shirt underneath. The silent protest is over. This turn is in response to the evil commiss Jerry skipping my open clothes encore last week. Oh, oh no, which he went with uh, Perfect Strangers, Family Ties, and Grace American Hero, as well as skipping my conspiracy theory that the Marla Gibbs episode was recorded and is being kept in a vault. This only reinforces <laughs> the theory. Hashtag release the Marla Gibbs cut. <laughs> Don't Let me say, just say, uh-oh, here it comes. maybe not a crazy conspiracy theory. <laughs> so, Cody, do you have do you have a memory of recording a Marla Gibbs episode? I mean, it's a little fuzzy. I can't. <laughs> You guys, you guys, you remember when you guys got pizza? You guys sent me a pizza too, and it. That's I just right. Don't remember anything That's after right. that? That's right. Or did we record one without Cody? Oh, how what a slap in the face right? that would be! So Damien says, "My Hall of Fame hat for Dylan is the Hurricane, the protest song for Ruben Hurricane Harder, uh, Carter." Yeah, that's a fucking great one. Um, let's see what Joe Capone says. Uh, Bob Dylan goes in the Hall of Fame wearing "Gotta Serve Somebody" in his hat. No truer words have ever been sung. It may be the devil, it may be the Lord, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Patrick Carruthers. Uh, all right, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Bob Dylan. I really want to pick all along the Watchtower, but it's gotta be like a Rolling Stone. Good one, PC. Sean Williams. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, Cody. I only got the Hall of Fame hat for Bob Dylan. It's a tie between the Man and Me from Big Lebowski and the Times Era changing that they use in Watchmen. Uh, thank you, Jerry and the Ramblers. Wish me happy birthday this week. Not too shabby for 39. Yes, I know people don't believe it because I don't look it, but I am 39 even though my face hasn't aged. And thank you to Jerry, Eddie, and Cody for keeping the ramble going as it's helped weather the storm through all this craziness out there right now. Ramble on, Sean Williams from Santa Clarita. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it, buddy. And again, happy belated birthday. Colin Mags. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone is safe, sane, and happy as possible in these turbulent times. Thanks for all the laughs to help us get through it. And anyone on the foot, front line in any capacity, a huge debt of gratitude is owed by all from shop workers to doctors to farmers. You've kept the world turning. Now on with the funny. Hall of Fame has to, has to be the times that are changing. Simply perfect and timeless. It's not bad. Not bad from uh, Colin Mags. Right? It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We also have Graham and Faye. Greetings from the Great White North, fellow Ramblers. A uh, few items as a follow-up in episode 236. You guys didn't seem to get this one, but I was laughing pretty hard at this p uh, choice pull on one of the lists. The modified poem is from Married with Children. That's what it is. At the nudie bar, Married with Children. With the, okay. It was fucking, okay, I get it. 
When the music stinks, the water drinks, the nudie bar. When the girlies dance in their underpants, the nudie bar. We see their butt, and the trap says, stay shut at the nudie bar. We can't touch a breast, but you can cave in a chest at the nudie bar. We can look at a thigh and black an eye at the nudie bar. Where the beer gives you gas, but the ramblers kick ass at the nudie bar. And with that, Faye has started to binge Married to Children from start to finish. 80 sitcom themes. Faye would like to underline the fact she told me it was sitcom theme- themes, not just 80s themes, as I insisted. Oh, it was wrong. Did I mention I was wrong? Ha, ha, ha. I'm being watched as I type this under. The rest of body will harm. <laughs> also, how the hell did I leave out Red Dwarf and Black Adder? Colin Max, Gary Priest are 100% right on those two shows. If you've never seen them, they are classic. Shame on Commonwealth me. Lastly, Eddie's podcast, F the Ramblers, Sayonara Shitheads via Joe Capone's suggestion. This needs to become a thing. If Cody can ha- do like 12 podcasts, thir- 12 to 13 podcasts a week, then Eddie can suck it up and do one more in his last hour of free time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bob Dylan hat. Sure, he has such a deep catalog of songs and writing credits to choose from, but one in particular sticks out above them all, Mr. Tambourine Man. But he's going the William Shatner version. Ah. Mr. Tambourine Man. (laughs) 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 So good. Thank you, Graham and Faye, for that. Gary Priest. Uh, Jerry, Eddie, Cody, help me roll up my list are below. So many classics. I'm going to go with classics. I'm going to go with the times they are changing. Almost 60 years old. Still relevant as hell and uh, sadly not wrong sadly not wrong from gary priest um oh also uh graham and faye also i forgot to tell you uh they almost got it right uh they tried uh team great white north took a shot to hit that tune Ah. and they they said skyward sword kakariko village or the goron village when you're flying in the sky close but it was a gerudo valley but thank you graham and faye for entering the hit that two nanny competition um all right man geez that w- who did you have bob dylan going in with me what song? Uh, yeah i had fortunate son by Ooh. credence clearwater <laughs> for bob dylan oh no oh bob dylan oh fuck i thought it was just a <laughs> protest song not bob dylan song yeah the bob dylan oh song. my bad well if yeah. he covered that if he <laughs> <laughs> If Bob Dylan covered that. I had like a Rolling Times Stone. Times they are changing. I had, I had like a Rolling Stone. That one. I couldn't do it. Cody? I have like a Rolling Stone as well. Yeah, I don't just, think it can be beat. No, it's so good. And then Ramble 238 sports logo from Cody. Chief Walker. What? Oh, Chief Well, Who they go in? Ramble <laughs> at the RamblePod.com. We're going to keep singing. It's because right now it's kind of in our blood. It's kind of what we Open, do. Open, close, and an encore. Mm. Ooh. That's some smooth harp, my friend. Uh, uh. Maybe that should go in for best protest song. Harp and closing encore. Open close. <laughs> I think when we do that, I think that will. <laughs> I think that's. Sh- I mean, you're not wrong. All right, it's fucking a right. <laughs> Damien Botriel, the birds, the great. I was on the birds kick because I saw that awesome documentary about Laurel Canyon that Bob Dylan's son Jacob oh, yeah. Dylan made. Yeah. So echo from the echo in the canyon, echo from the canyon, really fucking good. Um, I'll save the Jerry the trouble. Uh, Damien skipped the OC in top 10 this week. I ran out of time. Just finished Chris Jericho's second book, Undisputed, and it finished pretty heavy by going into the Chris Benoit stuff. Still yeah. hurts to think about. Damn. Uh, thanks for another amazing year of last. This is more than just a dumb podcast. Everyone here is part of something much more. Looking forward to more great podcasts from you all, even the willow avoiding Cody. <laughs> But we, don't, don't don't forget, it is still just a dumb podcast. It's just a dumb podcast. But yeah, but thank you, Damien. <laughs> and he says, we are Groot. Absolutely. Thank you, Damien, for the kind words. I appreciate that. Let's see what Joe Capone has to say. With uh, they, they open with my back pages. Close with this wheels on fire. Encore with to everything. Turn, turn, turn. Not bad. There is the season. Pat, PC, Patrick PC. Carruthers. Hey, Joe. Turn, turn, turn. And then, hey, Mr. Tambourine. Man. Nice. All right, not bad from PC. Sean Williams. Uh, oh, that's right. He did. He just wanted to thank us for the birthday wish. Uh, let's see what Colin Mags has to say. Colin Mags, uh, I only know two bird songs. They open with whatever's good. Close, turn, 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 encore, tambourine, man. All right, opening with whatever's good. That's not bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to do it. Uh, Graham and Faye. Uh, pre- with uh, Bands and birds, you say. They prelude eagles, journey of a source, or open flock of seagulls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Graham, no. That's pretty funny. So he just did all bands <laughs> that are birds, that are named after <laughs> birds. That's a pretty funny hack there. I like that. That's a way to hack into the system. So he, the eagles do Journey of a Sorcerer, then Flock of Seagulls open with I Ran So Far Away. Nice. Then the birds show up to close with Turn, Turn, Turn. Nice. And then they encore the Black nice. Crows Gone. Not bad. Not bad. 
Oh, God, and did they ever take a dark turn? What? We're gonna Well, we're going to go there on reading and <laughs> video gaming. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I, I don't even know. I don't know if I should say anything, but Gary Priest says... Um, they open with Ballad of Easy Rider, close with a feel a whole lot better, encore with Mr. Tambourine Man. That's a great one, Gary. That's a damn fine one. Yeah. Um, and there we go. Uh, no one matched my trifecta. I had them open with uh, Turn, Turn, Turn. Okay. Then close with Eight Miles High. Mm-hmm. Then encore with Mr. Tambourine Man. Okay, I open with Mr. Tambourine oh. Man. Oh. I close with You Ain't Going Nowhere. See, oh, he they're closing. Be, but You Ain't Going Nowhere because we have an encore coming up. Great one. Turn, turn, turn. Does it make you upset that You Ain't Going Nowhere is the kickoff song for the album that basically paved the way for the Eagles? That genre of country and rock. Um, Sweethearts of the Rodeo that they kind of... Inv- no, because okay. the Eagles took it and fumbled it. Okay. <laughs> it could have been a great genre and they fucked it up. Cody, what do you got for the birds open, closing, and encoring? I actually did not get around to oh, this no. particular wow. one, so oh, wow. okay. I don't have a I don't have an OC. Well, this, will I, the, this will go into the review file for, for those ten days. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus man, <laughs> God, you know, uh, yeah, I, man, fucking that whole Sweethearts of the Rodeo album is so good from the Birds. Yeah, Jesus Christ. All right, Cody, your next ramble, open close encore. I love this one. If you, you told me this one earlier, I was like, yes, we got to do it. I'm all for it. What is it? So open close encore. With one hit wonders. Wow. Okay. So So which which one hit wonder has the best opener, the best closer, and the best on So it's three different artists is what you would say, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay, we go in. I like this. Okay. I love this. A one the hit festival wonder. Festival of one hit wonders. And who's gonna open it? Who's gonna close it? Who comes out for the encore? Okay. Shit. I like it. Damn, that's tough. That's tough. That is tough. Is Space Hog anywhere on your list? Oh, maybe. I'm not <laughs> For that way yet. That, remember that? What was it? Wardy Bobby, are you? <laughs> that one? That was, wasn't that their one hit? Yeah, I think so. are you? <laughs> what about the. Oh, don't give up. You got the music in oh, you. Oh, God, don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, the one song that they broke up because they all hated each other, right? I think that was a New Radicals. Yeah, yeah that was New Radicals. Yeah, yeah. That one might be on my list. Do you you know that they asked in an interview once they asked um, the edge from you two, what is like the one song you wish you wrote? And he said it was that song. No shit. Yeah. Wow. And that guy, the guy who wrote that song is actually um, like a prolific songwriter and works with um, like John Carney, the guy who made once and again, again, sing street. Oh, wow. Mm. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. You got the music in you. That, that, I mean, man, what era had the most one-hit wonders? Probably the 90s? Well, 80s, it's, had, a 80s lot. had a lot of one-hit wonders. 80s had a lot. 70s? It's tons. They're all over. They're all over. They're all I don't over. think there's a decade that represents no. one-hit wonders. Shit. That's crazy, huh? Man, amazing. That's going to be a tough one, Cody. Good call. Damn yep. good call. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> it's going to get a little dark here, okay? Okay. I'm reading books and just, playing video games. Bring your pussy over I here. Saw reading books and playing games. Graham and Fish. Oh God. <laughs> what? <are> the... <laughs> well, I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing. Okay. All right. Let's. All right. Okay. God damn that solo, Eddie. I mean, my God. I know. My God. I know. I know. You're gonna tell Colton no if he wants to take music at Walter Reed, right? Like, yeah, I don't want him to do you that. You cannot do yeah. this, right? Colin Mags, uh, just finished Tough Shit by Kevin Smith. Great book for fans of his. Now I'm delving back in the world of Lincoln Rhyme with Jeffrey Deaver's series of books. I'm up to the Burning Wire games. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4, trying to finish it, also playing Civilization uh, five, 6, a turn-based strategy world-building game, and the Friday the 13th game, all good fun. Colin, what are you playing the Friday the 13th game on? Hit me up. Uh, if it's either PlayStation 4 or Nintendo Switch, let's go fucking kill Jason. All right. Not good shit, man. Um <laughs> Okay, what? Graham and Faye, I can't believe it. What? <laughs> All right, let's start normal. Okay. Missed opportunity. Well, maybe not. Oh, God. No, this is not. Okay, sorry. 
uh, the Retro Rocha Dana Plato crossover episode. Should oh. I play Night Trap on Retro Rocha? I also remember, uh, actually remember one of my friends had this game on a Sega CD. It's chock full of endless amounts of crap tastic material. It was basically a low budget choose your own adventure, which was at best a low grade B movie TNA flawed experiment to see how much compressed video you could fit into the quote unquote new CD ROM format. It's likely now a digital attraction in one of the lower levels of video game hell. Be sure to look up gameplay video, video via the Googles and have some bleach on hand for your eyes. Speaking of which, if we go further down the depression wabbit hole, that was the Dana Plato deep dive from episode 236. Cody, you can be all right? Lay it on me. Let's hear it. We, Eddie, you ready? Eddie, this might... Well, okay, what? This is going to hurt. We really start to clearly understand that the people around her were the scum of the earth, and she really didn't stand a chance. Are you ready for this post for, that was from 2012? Okay. The title of the headline was, You Can Own the RV Where Dana Plato oh Died. Oh, my God. <laughs> if, are you a different stroke super fan? Do you write erotic Arnold Dudley slash fiction? That's what the, the sale is. Then, boy, are you in luck because the, Winno, the Winnebago Dana Plato overdosed in is for oh. sale. Oh, God. There's the story. Oh, yeah. Why wasn't it destroyed? An anonymous tipster. With some inside information, send us these photos of the Winnebago currently in Tulsa, Oklahoma. There's a hand mark for sale sign on the windshield, but no advert, no online advertisements yet. No details of the RV are available aside from the photos that show it's in pretty serious need of interior work, you think? And, of course, it was replayed. Oh, she's still in there? We oh. need a need of interior work. And it was replayed overdosed oh. on a combination of volume and lore tab. The Winnebago, Winnebago seems to be... An 80s chieftain model, Plato's post-sitcom life was genuinely tragic, though she did manage a few notable achievements, namely being the first celebrity of any grade to star in a video game. Of course, Night Trap being one of the first recognizable celebrities to hold up a video store with a gun. As I write this, it's hitting me how grim this all is. The Winnebago was owned by Plato's son. Oh, God! God damn it! The wi- you ready for this? Yeah, what? The Winnebago was owned by Plato's son, who committed suicide as well. I don't know if this is sort of macabre notoriety enhances the value of an RV or just Wait, makes it he as He didn't kill himself in the RV, did he? I don't know. I guess the vast market of C-list celebrity death Winnebago enthusiasts will have to, That's the article. <laughs> Jesus. There's a lot of celebrity death crossover with Winnebago Winnebago enthusiasts? Maybe, huh? That's... Is this so what you guys weird. are doing with your tea public like money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> are we gonna buy this with the tea public? <laughs> are you if saving? I, if I had the funds. Do we then just make it a more, or do we? Or we no, do we turn it into the Rodimus Rodimus Podcast, Prime? Ramble Podcast Studio, and it's Rodimus Prime live from the Rodimus Prime <laughs> Dana, Dana Plato, Plato Deathmobile. Deathmobile. That's where we record every ramble from here on out. Fuck. And we drive it around the country. Recording rambles is there, and, and giving you, tours. Cody, you can have that for ten dollars. That Winnebago, do you do it? Fuck no, <laughs> I'm not going near that. <laughs> All right, Eddie, thirty bucks to take. The, we we pay thirty dollars. Yeah, we take that Winnebago out in the middle of nowhere and we have to spend the night in it. Yes, absolutely. Would you do it? Yes. Would you be scared at all? Hell, hell yes. But Cody, could you do that? I think we have to do it. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an amazing night. Winning. It'd be an amazing night. Fuck, that'd be rough, man. Jesus. Well, uh, I am playing <laughs> Contra 3. <laughs> it's more <laughs> Animal Crossing. I'm going to close with the Dana Plato stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird going into Contra 3 talk now. Contra- <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> really enjoying Pitfall. <laughs> 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 On the Atari, that's been a treat. Uh, some Pac-Man I'm getting oh, in. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <sighs> um, Eddie, you reading or playing any? No, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Cody? I played a couple games of NHL 20 oh. the other day. Oh, how'd nice. the Stars do? Stars did pretty well. I won yeah. 20 to 3. Ooh. Wow. wow. <laughs> Might went up the difficulty level. <laughs> it was <laughs> preseason. It was preseason. That's a problem with rookie level. Right, that's a problem with sports video games. Is once you kind of get the hang of it, it's every game to blow up. Yeah. There's well, no... you got to up the level to like fucking max right. level or whatever the hardest. Yeah, I was, right. Then it's not I, fun. I haven't upped the level yet because I was I haven't played video games in so long, so sure. I'm still on like preschooler level or whatever so you're just jerry with the special eds kids on the basketball court. yes the yeah. one guy one guy the same move was working every single time it was getting a little old uh, 
Cody, did you ever hear that story? I think you did, right? I heard it like secondhand. I didn't hear. I didn't actually like listen to the story. All right. Well, I just look. I was mad because I wanted to play basketball, and we were. I think it, we were really close to two on two, and this guy that I worked with at a uh. bookstore brought like a fucking severely autistic special needs guy with him, mm. and I was pissed. And for the most part, we let him get every rebound. <laughs> but one time, I swatted the fuck out of one of them. He his just guys. rejected him. I rejected Hard. him. He just matumboed the guy. I was so mad. Just and then he did. Then he wagged his finger in yeah. the face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What else. I was annoyed. I wanted to You're fucking. Like, no, 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 yes. no, no. Look. No offense to any of the Ramblers who might be Christian. That's why you don't invite super Christians to do anything, because they have to fucking, everything is to make Jesus happy. So they got to bring some fucking, like, okay, can you just bring? And you just want a ball. That's all you want to do. I just wanted to play. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in it. So was he, like, going for a layup, or was he shooting it? <laughs> Like, how did you reject him? Is he doing like a, like a little layup under the rim and you swatted it, or is he just? I like, don't know if I should say. He just this. posted up outside the three point line. I don't know if I should say this. And you sent this. it into the bleachers. I don't know if I should say this. Oh, was he what? He was trying to take like a eight foot jumper, and it took him forever to line up the shot. Oh, and so you were just sitting there <laughs> yes! measuring him up, and then he jumps up and you just. I'm like, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> And then finger wag <laughs> as you're running backwards down the court, right? <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're backpedaling, wagging your finger. The special needs kid just like... You never heard that story, did you, Andrea? I did. Oh, Am didn't. I an asshole or That's not? That's the moment she fell in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was She's like, for the rest of my life. I knew that one. was a man. I knew that happened to somebody else. What are you talking about? You Yes, yeah. I, I swatted a shot one time. But I, thought, I feel like that was like somebody else. No, that was a man. Love you of your life. Sleep. Are you tell me it was somebody else? No, I swear. <laughs> I no, no, he no, wears no. it with honor. I wear that with honor, dude. That was. <laughs> he brags let about me it. tell you something. That shit <laughs> would have been on my mixtape if I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to cover your mixtape, just <laughs> swatting the kid. No, wait. I, we didn't hear the rest of the story. So my buddy Jeff and I, if I, I wish I could call Jeff right now. He, I swear he would attest. Maybe I could. Jeff and I were like, every rebound. We were like, oh, we would, we would go for the rebound. Be like, oh, oops. And then yeah. just l- go right in his hands. Jerry was just like, fuck We gave him like, shit. he scored like 12 points. He got layup after layup. We weren't contested. But I was just mad because I wanted to play a real game of basketball. <laughs> and this Christian dipshit coworker of mine invited that kid out there. <laughs> And he was an adult, you know, so I was just... So you just ruined the entire game he was playing with the one move. No, he got he scored a few more times after that. Yeah, I but he knew at it. that point, okay, you guys are letting me do this. Because at any point, you could stop me. That's what the move did. The move let him know that the whole thing was a facade. Look, I'm happy about it. Did you do like a Kevin Garnett scream afterwards, too? Yeah, yeah. I did. Hey! Yeah. And, then, and then he popped his chest number. And then he wagged his fingers and backpedaled. <laughs> it's not like I was bouncing a pass off his head, to, you know, make it. I didn't do anything like that. I didn't do like a Carl Malone, like throw an elbow. <laughs> At least I wasn't like Malone, like throwing an elbow on the way back. Oh. Look, I was mad, okay? I was fucking I threw a tantrum. I was ve- I was in my early 20s. I was very immature. Long hair? Oh yeah. Nice. Long hair. Yeah, the long- up. <laughs> Boom, fuck out. I almost said get the fuck out of here, but I didn't with that shit. Yeah, I almost did. I swear to god, I almost was like get the oh, fuck, fuck out, out of here with here. that shit, but I didn't. Oh. It was <laughs> oh. God damn it. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to <time. laughs> now. <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck. Would, you, you wouldn't have felt the same way at all. I, I, if you were really you know excited I'd to play. Have to be, I'd have to be in that position to make that call. Cody, I could, could you empathize with me at all there or no? It's hard to. Dude, I don't, it's I don't hard think to see. I could ever be able to do that. It's hard to see the good in what you did. <laughs> I, 
I just pick it up and play another day. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't try to make a statement. <laughs> it wasn't like it wasn't like your last request basketball game. I think I might have stared down the Christian guy, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think I did. I didn't do anything to the kid. Oh. To the I think I stared after I swatted. I think I might have gave a fuck you stare to the. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Can I can I can I go a little further, please? Yeah, go. Please, the Christian dude, for whatever it's worth, it still doesn't excuse what I did. But he was running his mouth about how good he was at basketball, how much he wanted to play pickup games, and I'm like, well, my friends and I play usually every Wednesday, whatever. Every oh, well, I'd like to join you guys, man. I really like to. I want to get a game in. I'm really, and I was like, oh, great. And then that, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. No, like, that's an excuse. You're, you're right. Totally, totally called for what you did. Totally called for. Right. I was just mad. <sighs> Unreal. <laughs> <sighs> oh fuck. Well, look, it's, right. it happened. I yeah, can't. It I, I guess it can't did. change can't it. Can't change it now. Just gotta own it. <laughs> Andrea left me. She's already packing her things. <laughs> Can you hear? Now us? she's definitely not gonna Shout let me play horse with her nephew. <laughs> 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 I'm nice. I let her know. Ne- I'll carry her little nephew so they can dunk it and shit. Come on. I'm good. Right, honey? See? She knows. She's That's what me. And she's lying. She she wants me to tell that story in bed. When we're making love, she wants you to tell me about that time you swatted that autistic kid. While you guys shot. are spooning? Yeah. Well, we're saying, right like, right, come here, mother. Boom. <laughs> it's sh- <laughs> shout out time. Get that shit out. Get the fuck out of here with <laughs> that. Shit. Addie Vanderhaar, sci-fi gamer, historian, Haven, huge fan, the real man games, Chris Fabinski, McLovin, Ignorious, Inglorious Wildcat, Todd Mellert, Jen Schmidt, Brick48. Thank you for the games again, Jen. Fucking dope as fuck. Joe Santos, aka Big Daddy, Big Daddy Toss34. Thank you, Big Daddy, for the pizza that day. Steve Harrington, Weirdo, Kyle P. Kinsard, Alfred Rico, Dee Dee Johnson, Daniel Kuhn, the Eric Butts, John Fields Art, Peter the Reaper, Kaiser and Rowe, Alrim, followers of She's Moo. She's Moo, right? Am I saying that right? She's moved. She's yes. moved. She's moved. Scott Prince, Graham Edmondson, Leon Edelman, Rick Braun, Daniel 673, Reed Dixon, Retro Rocket Entertainment, Coppin with Comic, Elizabeth Flores, Jason Tully, The Real Zelly, Cool Gramps, XRP, Eddie Pence Fan Club, Captain Robin, Dash Windsor, Pirate Cats, Daryl Hefferman, David McGinn, Teresa 1025, Christopher Haskell, George Olivos, Jason Peake, Matt Cottrell 77, Blinky Blink, Jamie Warner, Get the Unspecial on Netflix, The Ultimate Rabbit, Davis, a.k.a. Your Grandma's Pussy, Alec Vasquez, Colin Mag, C. White 400, Play With a Podcast, Adam Kreis, Darren Butler, Michael S. Miller, Jeff Watts, Jim Key, Taylor Johnson, Rich Morrissey, Nick Payne, Rensel 3, Night Moves Differently, Ken Rivera, Richard Miller, David Garcia, Jose Gonzalez, Big Daddy Joe 30, 34, Bay TW Podcast, Ray Tolius Kingsley uh, 28, Eric Ben 10, The Real Danny Mary, Scarecrow, a.k.a. James Weaver, Nat Law Torn, Nick Sharp, Sephora, Sean, New Romero, Kenny Todd, Reverend N. Daddy, Harold Sanchez, Vanderveer Von Hulsen, Michael B. Smith, Jim Big Timmy, Big Timmy 87, Gary Priest, Middle Edge Crazy Podcast, Tammy Lee Ramsdale, Frank Montez, SRW 92831, Pax and Breaks, Lawrence Ines, Neho Young, Coy Bennett James, Jeffrey, AK Bay, J Backo 01, Gil Gaslam, The Thick White Duke, T Garrett Pearson, Chinol Peligro, Podescue Podcast, Interzone Podcast, CJ Pendragon, Yorges, Satir, Ward 6, Satirlicious, Cordelia, Lucas Guerra, J5, Red 5 Standing By, Rob Fernie, Chris O'Shoke, Nathan Wallace, Shane Power, Michael Martinez, Wendy May, Steve Darcy, Gray Ray, Sean Williams, Lewin Harris, Ryan McNabb, Brand Feltner, Pod Mode, Brandon J, Cam Sampers, Dave Van Walton, Chris McDermott, and Bella 660, Win 3068, Chris Chug Hughes, Daniel Holland, Josh Kovacs, Trent Unruh, J6K9, Graham Gray Arnold, Cathal, Man- Cathal McAllery, Manny Avalar, Bradley John Eaglefeather, Eagle Feather, Joseph Tejas, Go Away 723, Amador Gonzalez, Steven, Nikki G23220, J Reading 1013, Fred Johnson, Todd C, DJ Retod, Lord Helmet, Adding Good, Phil Sargent, Sean Williams, Mock Toys, Scarecrow 219, AKA Adam K, Jimmy Salgado, All of Us Pod, Sword of Goods Pod, Juvenicio Estrada, Oscar Nunez, Joe Mopa Show, Sean Smith, Stacey Avilia, CGA, AKM Blade, Cal. Cook, a.k.a. the Grindfather, Grindfather, Andy Hinsman, Graham Moore, Eric Nye, Justin Brown, Stacey Gonzalez, Jack Beams, Chris Fabble, Crystal Bacaba, Chris Bell, Kevin Couch, Cheryl Andre, Charles Phillips, a.k.a. Chaz Hates, The Game Fanatics, Burr Martin, Gary Cundle, Shelby Console, Plastic Prison, Kelly Riddle, KT, Chris Berensmeyer, a.k.a. Go Cast, Chris B, Glamis, Jamie, Storv Raymond, Even Yam and Boss Hogg, Grim Shredder, Drunk Eddie's Thoughts, Eddie's Ghost Ham, Robin Maloney, Damian Botriel, Joe Milne, Ramar, Chats, Liu, Sean Ryan, Lisa Marie Miller, Joey Poole, Gemma from the Talking Console Podcast. Give it a listen. Eddie and I have both been guests. Andy Barr, James, Dan Beavers, a.k.a. G Virus Dan, Neth Kendall, a.k.a. The Joker, Austin Long, Adrienne and Benya, a.k.a. Texas Spooky. 71, Gamer Girl Deluxe, Singway Slave, Big Timmy 87, John Broccolo, Steve Colsanti, a.k.a. Midnight Smoke, Patrick A. Bonfrisco, Jason Shearer, Matt the Rat, Mad Monkey, Sebro Brella, E. Viegas, Justin Schroeder, Jeremy Bienvenu, Patrick Crothers, Tim Dawson, Brian Withers, Steve Rogers, Will Wilkins, Ian Mc, John Mick II, Ian Goldspink, Rico GZ, Iris 0, 1980, Bearded Nerd, Mike Driscoll, 3D, Big Daddy, Jimmy V, Lissy Atkins. And then, here we go, 
Uh, we're gonna have a new leadoff. Oh, on the uh, on, out of his request, Joe Capone. Oh, Joe Capone. And then we go Sonic, okay. aka Mercy Dollum. <laughs> Stets, the king of the barbecue sauce, my legitimate Scottish cousin, yes. McGregor. Uh, the Hall of Famer, first ballot, the Devastator, Dave Strebeck, nice. Nico Brown, Steph Infection, Poltron, Aaron, Bridget from Long Island, uh, Adam Clambert, JM, J. Mitch, uh, Bur the Burge, Tracy Burgess, the Tapia, Nickel the Wise, Gary Rickleman, Grady W. Smithy the Third, the Chris and Cassie Effect, Graham and Faye from the Great White North, Sam Martinez, David S. Gutierrez, David Eric E. Chavez, E. Chavez, Becky Sinderling, Brie Pena, and Brian Boo, <laughs> Stamantes, Boo, Boo, Stamantes. Thank you all for making the ramble parts of your lives, your loves, your everythings. Cody, where can all the fine folk go find you? Yeah, so you can find me at Cinesnob Cody on Twitter, uh, and then you can find my other podcast, the Cinesnob Podcast, where we are reviewing weekly uh, VOD releases. Yeah. ReMCU, where you can find uh, our Marvel rewatch podcast, and then Corin Stream, where we're talking to folks in the entertainment industry. Um, we have a episode with Santos Montano from the band Old Man Gloom, but he's also a TV and film industry prop guy, nice. so he kind of tells some really cool stories about that. Ooh. And a quick plea: uh, if you're enjoying any of those shows, if you can leave a very quick uh, five-star rating and positive text review. We're actually starting to pop up on the charts for Corn Oh, stream. shit. Nice. So uh, some positive reviews and ratings would help out that uh, a long way. So Fuck yeah. All right. How about that? Eddie, five days a week. Five twice. days a week. Uh, Radio.com swings and misses, uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and then Patreon.com, The Ralph Report, five days a week, Monday that. through Friday. Uh, every Monday, I'm the Smug Nerd with Eddie and all my social medias. Also, every Thursday, I do my Retro Roche YouTube show. Please mm -hmm. subscribe to that and check mm -hmm. that out. And then every night, I'll be twitching on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Retro Roche. Please go subscribe to Cody's podcast. Give him those five-star ratings at Positive Text Review. You know where to follow Eddie and I, all three of us. Do it. We love you guys. Buy our merch. Please. All that good shit. All that good huh? stuff. And here it is. It's time. It is time. It's the time of top the show ten. where we rank the top mm -hmm. ten. <laughs> Cody, we got to find a way to get you on this and to listen to this harmonica, unreal. man. It's unreal. Yeah. It's just it's Jesus. So good. so good. I feel <clears throat> like I'm missing out every week. You and you are. I hate to say it, but absolutely, you fucking are. Top ten game shows. This was a tough one. Cody, what is on the docket for next Rambles? Top 10. Ramble 238. What is it going to be? Ramble 238. Top 10 cameos in movies. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, that is great. God. Do you like know Sean you're Connery in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. That's right. right? That's number one of all time. Right? I think it's going to be a tough to decide between comedic <laughs> comedic stuff and uh, and like just a random actor popping up in a movie that you weren't expecting. I see. I know. I know. It's oof. Burt Burt Reynolds in a dungeon. Was it dungeon? The one. With oh, that's right. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's, that and, might be my favorite. Man, oof. There's there's some <laughs> there's some good ones. There are some good dungeon ones. Dungeon Tale or something like that. What the fuck was the name? Um, based on I the forgot. Game. Yeah. Fuck. So fucking got, funny. Uh, I gotta go. Um, here we go. Number ten, top ten game shows. This was tough, man. Yeah. Let's go with y'all first. I don't think anyone got my trifecta. We'll see though. Uh, Joe Capone says uh, top ten game shows. Number ten, TV Pow, a game that came on in the afternoons during the early mid '80s, where kids would call local uh, lo call the local station that aired the game and yelled "Pow" into the phone while the creepy host mocked you over footage from a Space Invaders missile defenser style Atari game would shoot based on the voice commands. I was actually on it once. I did about as well as did Jerry during his final stages of X Men <laughs> Retro Rocha streams. <laughs> nice, and he sent the link. I hope that, is that the link for that or is that the link for me failing? Oh, that's POW. Well, let's all get set for a TV, TV POW game right now. And this <laughs> heard, have you heard of TV POW? Oh. That's crazy. So we're going to have to play it. Let's fuck it out. Number nine, Supermarket Sweep. How could you not put that in your top ten? All right. Uh, number eight, Tic-Tac-Doe. Number seven, Win, Loser, Draw. Number six, Battle of Network Stars. Number five, Wheel of Fortune. Number four, The Newlywed Game. Number three, Jeopardy. Number two, Hollywood Squares. And number one, Family Feud, the Richard Dawson version. POW, 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 POW. Giants going to win it all this season. If we have an NFL, Bay <laughs> Bay, just learn to accept the inevitable truth and everything will be okay. Did you hear Eddie's mocking laughter, Joe Capone? Mocking you with that, Giants. How you don't have the same mocking laughter how upset, going in your head. How upset would you be if the Giants did win it all? <laughs> they can't win it all. They can't. It's, they can't. 
They That's can. like me saying the Skins are going to win it all. Right. Patrick Brothers, top 10 game show. Stacy want to throw a hat in the ring. Number 10, name that tune. Number 9, $10,000 pyramid. Number 8, shop to the drop. Family Feud, Hollywood Squares, The Price is Right, Remote Control, Double Dare, Press Your Luck, and number one, Match Game. And then Patrick's, my top 10, Let's Make a Deal, American Gladiators, Tic Tac Doe, uh, Tic Tac Doe, Card Sharks, Hollywood Squares, The Price is Right, Remote Control, Press Your Luck, Double Dare, Jeopardy, thank you for the funny Patrick Carruthers. Thank you for the list, you and Stacy. Colin Mags, again, I'm British, so mine are predominantly from here. Number 10, name that tune. Number 9, Wheel of Fortune, catchphrase. Oh, yeah, we have that one, a game where you're showing an animated image. You have to guess a phrase, simple and fun. Number 7, Supermarket Sweep. Oh, we got that motherfucker, too. Uh, blankety blank, hard to explain. Basically, you had two contestants, a host, and a panel of celebrities and comedians, and the celebs are given a sentence with a missing word, the blank, usually one that could be a double entendre or suggestive, and the contestants had to guess the word the celebrities would use to replace the blank. Right with the host and panel, it was that's a match game. I wonder who stole who. Oh, I bet we stole. Uh, we we stole. probably stole it from them, right? Blank and blank. We always steal from them. That that's basically the premise to match game over here that aired back in the seventies. Number five, Bullseye. A very British game based around darts with a quiz element. Shit, but good as it was, uh, a team game of two players per team, and they'd give a grand prize of a speedboat to people in a landlocked city or a new kitchen emphasis on a singular kitchen. 99% of the time, the team members are just friends. So how do you split a kitchen? Classic. <laughs> Number four, The Price is Right. Number three, The Generation Game, another very British show. Teams are given tasks to replace, which they which they then are judged on best team wins. Simple enough, the joy is in the tasks like sausage making, dancing, wallpapering, and the side of it all going horribly wrong. Number two, Family Fortunes, Feud in the USA, made great by mental answers to simple questions. And number one, the Crystal Maze. Teams given a choice of physical, mental, mystery, or skill game, which they must complete according to the rules or time limits. Penalties apply for not doing so, i.e. being locked until you're bought out with a token for winning a previous game. Great show. Look it up. It's hard to describe. Give it enough credit as it's simply amazing. Honorable mention to Taskmaster. It's a celebrity-only show I feel doesn't qualify, but it's a great show when the celebrities are right in the mix. Thanks again, you guys. Can't wait for Cody's topics. From your loyal knight of the Ramble Table, Colin Mag sent for my Thank you, Colin. Really appreciate that one, buddy. And we are almost done with the uh, with the lists. Top ten game shows the go- from Graham Fay, the Gong Show. Let's make a deal. Monty Hogg, who's from Winnipeg, eh? I'll take the box, the box, and it's a goat. Reach for the top. A Canadian academic competition for high school students. Interesting. Number seven. Wipeout. Hashtag or slash. Don't get eliminated. To be fair, you could do an entire top ten of bizarre Japanese game shows. The important part is people on TV getting hurt. Number six. Win Ben Stein's money. Rock and roll Jeopardy. That was fucking great. Family Feud. Richard Dawson. Press your luck. Whammy, whammy, whammy. The Price is Right with the Price is Wrong. Bitch, Bob Barker. Jeopardy. I'll take the ripest for five hundred, Alex. And Wheel of Fish. Stupid. <laughs> oh, so stupid from UHF. So I randomly found an old episode of the Ramble on my old USB key. Decided to listen to the episode and for some retro shits and giggles like a Twilight Zone time capsule. I fired up the Wayback Machine. Randomly clicked on my mouse early into Ramble 25. Confused. I thought I was listening to an early bit with Jerry and Cody trying to sing gospel music. Was this an early musical bit they were working on? The voice sounds rather odd. I think it was Cody. Was that first person not remember this? <laughs> Maybe it's a part of the bit they were doing. Looking for a city. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Graham and Faye from Winnipeg. Fucking awesome. Oh, God. I still remember that sad motherfucker singing that was so bad and lastly gary priest match game people of funny family feud what's my line the quiz kids jeopardy price is right wheel of fortune hollywood squares and number one you bet your life uh thanks as thanks as ever for all your brilliant content said it before i'll say it again these times are tough but getting chances to unhook the brain and get my ramble on is such a welcome relief well thank you all thank you all who entered and if i forgot someone i'm fucking sorry but i'm pretty sure i read everybody <laughs> all right all right cody did you do this one yes my number 10 american wait Honorable mention. Sabado Gigante. Had to give Sabado okay. Gigante honorable okay. mention. Press your luck. Let's make a deal and password. Okay. Those are my honorable mentions. My number 10, American Gladiators. Cody. Double Dare. Oh, so good. Mm. Eddie. My number 10 is Password. Ooh. My number nine, Love Connection. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> oh. My number nine is Win Ben Stein's Money. Hey. hey. Eddie? My number nine is uh, the newlywed game. Oh, my number eight. I went deep. I, I, I went big. I didn't okay. go home. Okay. I didn't go 10000 I went the $100,000 oh, yeah, pyramid. You ball like that. Ba, 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 ba. You ball like that. We've seen you play basketball. <laughs> Cody, you're number eight. Uh, my number eight is press your luck. Oh, so good. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. My number eight is match game. That's my number seven. Oh. Wow. You're number seven, Cody? 
Uh, any iteration of pyramid. Oh yeah, bu, 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 I leave bu, it open. Bu, bu, bu. <laughs> I want one hundred thousand, Eddie. You're my number seven. seven is Double Dare. Oof, my number six, Supermarket Sweep. No, oh, that's a good one, Cody. My number six is one I don't think I heard, which is uh, Cash Cab. Oh yeah, Cash Cab's good a great one. one. Good one. Yeah, good one, Eddie. My number six is Hollywood Squares. Oh, my number five, Double Dare. Oh, I went high on Double oh, Dare. See, I, I nice. had it high, but not as high as you. <laughs> You're number five, Cody. Uh, match Game. Ooh. Ah. Uh, my number five is Wheel of Fortune. Oh, shit, yeah. That's uh, my number four. That's uh, my number four, Price is Right. Uh, okay. Cody's Wheel of Fortune. Eddie, what's your number four? My number four, uh, The Family Feud. Oh. Richard Dawson. Richard Dawson. My number three is Wheel of Fortune. Okay. My number three is Family Feud. Eddie? Three, uh, who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Ooh, underrated classic yes. right there. My number two, Family Feud, Dawson. Nice. Cody, your number two? Jeopardy. That's my number two. Oh, I'm oh. mad. That is my number one. What? I went Jeopardy. Cody, you're number one. What else could it be? The price is right. That's my number one. Hey! That's my hey! number one. <laughs> Cody and I got the same ones and twos. Fucking amazing. You both almost got a trifecta. Oh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. That was our ra- next Ramble, 238 Ramble at theramblepod.com. What would what pro sports logo is on the fucking what hat is Chief on Wahoo. the hat? I've already decided. Chief the, Wahoo. Uh, Chief Wahoo, the open close <laughs> encore of one hit wonders, <laughs> top ten movie cameos. Thank you all for listening. Remember, you get to that last beep, and it's goodbye, and we love you. We'll see you next week. We love you all. Thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Right under the gun, both Eddie and Cody had a hard fucking out yeah, today. We did it. I and know we, we gonna just do it. did it. I didn't we think it just was happen, did it. That's why it. I had to speed read some of those emails. I apologize to those people that I sped read. I might have missed a couple things when I sped right. read your emails. But we had a hard out. And we fucking did it. Yes. It's amazing timing. That's amazing what, uh, timing. That's what men do. That's what right? men do. That's what, men, that's what real men do. Men do things quickly. Fuck yeah. Not Fuck well yeah. and quickly. That's not well and fast. <laughs> we and leave most people unsatisfied. Unsatisfied. <laughs> <laughs> that's how men do it. Yeah, should I try to find that autistic guy and apologize, do you think? Or... No, I think we should give him a web redemption, though. <laughs> I think he should try to make that shot on you again. I think that would be good. Why did he? I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. Jerry, you're not supposed to do that again. <laughs> Cut.